Today I'll be showing you how to extract all file names from a folder and generate those file names into an Excel table that looks something like this. And within that table, you're able to select whichever Excel file you want to go into and you can actually access that file right from Excel as well. So for my example, in my documents, I have a folder called survey results and inside this folder, I have a whole bunch of files. Now there's a mixture of Excel, Word and PowerPoint files. And I want to be able to extract only the Excel files into the table. That's going to look something like this with the file name and some other metadata. And then again, I'm going to be hyperlinking each Excel file so I can access it directly from that Excel table. So let's get started. Here's my blank Excel file. I've named it over here as well. And the first step I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into data and I'm going to go into get data from file and from folder. Now, as I do this, one thing I'll mention is that you don't necessarily need to pull only Excel files. You can select which type of files you want to pull from your folder. And this is also going to be dynamic. So as we add or remove files from our folder, our Excel table will also refresh based on that as well without us having to manually do anything. So now that I've opened this up, I'm going to select the folder, just click it once. This is the folder. And as I showed you, it had a whole bunch of Excel, Word and PowerPoint files. I'm going to click on open here. And once this opens up here, I'm going to go into transform data. Now, although we can do this in VBA as well, I'm showing you the way to do it in Power Query so that anyone can do it regardless of any VBA or coding knowledge at all. So now that we've opened up and previewed this data into our Power Query editor, we can see that these are all of the file names within that folder, within the survey results folder. So what I'm going to do is I'll just process this before we take it into Excel. So the first thing I want to do is I only want Excel files. So as you can see, we have some PowerPoint files, uh, Manila Philippines .pptx. We have a word file as well, the docx. We want only Excel files. So I'm going to click on the extension and I'm going to only select Excel files and press OK. And the second thing I want to do is I want to make a hyperlink so that I can access any file right from my Excel master workbook. So in order to do that, I'm going to invoke a custom column. So I'm going to go into add column and custom column. The formula for this column will simply be in square brackets folder path. And then and and then in square brackets the name and I'll press OK. And by the way, the folder path is right over here. This this column and the name of the Excel file is right over here. So now we have a custom column which has uh, both the Excel file uh, folder path and the name. OK, and we're going to be using this custom column later on when we do hyperlink uh, in Excel. So for now, I can go ahead and I can rename it and I can just call it for hyperlink. And by the way, I'm going to hide this column back in Excel uh, so we won't have this visible anymore. Um, but now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to clean up this data. So as you can see in the name column here, we have dot XLSX extension and all names. I don't need that because uh, all these files are Excel files. I know that. So I don't need that uh, delimiter at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the column and I'll go into transform or add add column actually and extract and text before delimiter. And the delimiter is going to be dot XLSX. We'll press OK. And now we should have a clean uh, name column right over here. So I'm going to take this to the very front. OK, so here we are. Now it's at the very front here. So I'm going to have the name and I'm going to call this name as well. So rename it to file name. And then I also want the uh, date last modified. So I want that as a column as well. And then as a third column, I want the date of creation, the date the file was created as well. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that to the very front here. And there we go. So we have three columns, file name, date modified and date created. And 
Now what we can go ahead and do is we can delete the columns that we don't need. So remember the hyperlink column, we're going to need this in Excel. The other columns we don't need. The folder path and the name columns are being used for this custom column that we needed. Uh, but we can safely delete these columns because we don't need them uh, to show in Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the columns I don't need by clicking control on my keyboard here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete those columns. So go ahead and remove columns. And there we go. So now we have the file name. We have the date last modified, the date created, the extension and the hyperlink that we're going to be using in Excel. Now for the date uh, created, um, I don't need the exact time it was created. So I'm just going to go into date only. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this to here. And I'm going to delete the old column. And I'm going to call this the date created column, just rename it. And there we go. So now this data is ready. And we can go ahead and uh, transfer it as an Excel table. Okay, as you can see, these are all the steps I did over here in the applied steps box. Um, but anyhow, close and load two. And we're going to go ahead and put it into our worksheet right in cell A1. And I'm going to press OK. So as you can see, we have all the data. Now, one thing I forgot to do back in Power Query, uh, if I go back to queries and connections here, is that I forgot to delete the extension column. I don't need this either. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that column as well. And then we can go back here into Excel. And there we are. So now we have a table that has all of the information that we're looking for. It has the file name, date modified, date created, and this uh, column we're going to be using for our hyperlink. Okay, so let's get to the hyperlink. Now the hyperlink is going to be equals to hyperlink, open bracket, the link location will be these links right over here. As for the friendly name, I'll just call it access file. And then I'll go ahead and close that up. And I'm going to go ahead and take this link down. I'm going to call this column links. And then I'll go ahead and hide this column here. So now there we go. We have an entire column from which we can access those Excel files as well. So now in my documents, in this survey data, uh, survey results folder, all of the files that are here, which are Excel files, I can access them easily through here. And I can also check and kind of audit which files are in there and when they were last modified as well. Now, let's say that I want to uh, open one of these files. So I'm going to go ahead and open Berlin, Germany, for example, click on access file and yes. And let's see what happens. So here we are. Here's the Excel file. As you can see, we can open it up directly uh, through our master table. And one more thing I'll do is I will actually go into my survey results file and I'm going to go outside of this file and I have two more files that I want to add inside here. One is a PowerPoint file called Chicago USA and one's an Excel file called Jakarta Indonesia. We're going to grab these two files and put it into survey results. Now, based on how we've programmed things, Jakarta Indonesia Excel file, it should show up in the table. Okay. Whereas the Chicago USA file, because it's not an Excel file, it shouldn't show up, right? So let's go ahead and let's grab these two and let's put them into survey results and let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead into data here and click on refresh and let's see what happens. So the Jakarta Indonesia file is right over here. I see it. Uh, let's see if the Chicago USA file showed up. It shouldn't have, but let's see. Let's search it up. And as you can see, it doesn't come up. So Excel was able to recognize that we only allow Excel files in here. So it didn't put it in here. So that's how you can centralize all of your files from a folder into one Excel table and access it right from that table and also make it dynamic. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do uh, drop a like and comment and I'll see you shortly on the next video.